Hey y'all, Rob the American here and welcome to Tales of Manchester and of Watches. Now today we might have to change that subtitle to Tales of Belfast and of Watches. And that's because tomorrow morning I am catching a plane and flying over to Northern Ireland. And I'm taking y'all with me. We're going to take, uh, see some friends, take care of a little business, little watch action, uh, some cool buildings. And on my wrist is going to be this. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not putting it on today because I'm not leaving till tomorrow. But I hope y'all will join me. Come on. All right, y'all. We are on the train to Manchester Airport for our flight. I am excited. It's a beautiful day outside. And uh, I'll see y'all at the airport. All right, y'all. We've successfully made it to the airport. Uh, waiting for my flight. It's still a couple hours. Uh, we'll find Aer Lingus the Irish airline. Uh, so I'm gonna go get something to eat and I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, folks, we are boarding. And look at that, we are on a prop plane. Haven't been on one of those in a while. Wish us luck. We'll see you on board. All right, y'all, we are on the plane and we're just getting ready to take off from Manchester. It is a beautiful sunny day and pretty soon we will be over the, is it North Sea or Irish Sea? Irish Sea. Irish Sea? Probably. Anyway, um, I'll see y'all in Belfast. All right, y'all, we are in Belfast City Center. Made it. It's a beautiful blue day. You can see those skies. It is cold. It is mid-40s Fahrenheit, so that's what, subtract mid-45. Well, we did this one the other day. 45 minus 30 divided by 2. 45, 15 divided by 2 is 7 and a half. All right. Uh, good. All right, check this out, y'all. I'm going to flip this around. Look at what I'm looking at right now. That my friends, it's Belfast City Hall. It was opened in 1906. All right, y'all, we are in University Quarter and we are making our way to Queens University. And wait till y'all see this building. It will knock your socks off. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. Oh my God. Oh, let's have a closer look. Now, Queen's University was established in 1845, and this building was opened in 1849. It's called the Lanyon Building, and it's named after Charles Lanyon, the architect. Simply spectacular. Wow. Let's have a wonder on in. See how far we get before we get in trouble. Look at this, y'all. Oh my God, look at this. This is sick. All right, let's check out the back. Oh, this is so cool. Oops, these doors are gonna oh, kill me. All right, here we go. Wow, look at these arches. That's awesome. This is so cool, y'all. Oh my gosh. Golly, look at that. Wow. It's a Saturday, so it's quiet. Not a lot of student action going on. Check that out. It's the Union Theological College. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Wow. Look at that. All right, y'all, we are making our way up Botanic Avenue. Gonna go grab some breakfast at one of my favorite places in the world. Guys, it's breakfast time. Oh, let's do this. All right, y'all, we sat down for breakfast. Then uh, we're gonna get an Irish fry up, which I will show y'all in just a few minutes. I can't wait. Here we have it, y'all, an Irish fry up. We've got a fried egg, hash brown, bacon, sausage, tomato, mushrooms, potato bread, and soda bread. Let's dig in. 
Hey y'all, we are gonna make our way out of University Quarter and work our way back into the city center uh, to the Cathedral Quarter. We're gonna check out all the quarters today. Here is the Europa Hotel, the most bombed hotel in the world. During the troubles, this ho poor hotel took the brunt of a lot of bombing. Today, it is safe and luxurious. Check out this view, y'all. Wow. Wow, look at this Primark, y'all. Wow, look at that building. That is the nicest Primark I've ever seen. Uh, if y'all don't know what Primark is, it's kind of a, a cheap clothing, not cheap like no good, but cheap prices. That is, that's a wow. Wow. Look at that. This is the Merchant Hotel. Wow. All right, let's see how far we can get in before we get into trouble. Look at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, look. Talk about your grand entrances. Wow. <laughs> this show oh my god wow oh my god look at this show wow wow <laughs> wow we hit the jackpot with this oh my god Oh my God, this is sick. All right, y'all, we hit the watch jackpot. Check this out. We are going into the actual safe of the building. All right, y'all, so this is Pride and Pinion, and it resides within the safe of this hotel, which used to be a bank. Look at these, look at these watches, y'all. Oh my God. Wow. And in the corner is our new best friend, Graham. Hey, folks. Look at this, y'all. So if you find yourself in Belfast, uh, come into the Merchant Hotel. Yeah. And when you walk in... Walk in, take a right, through the Caulfield Bar, and just ask for Pride and Pinion. There you go. Yeah. Look at this. All right, guys, I have some shopping to do. See y'all soon. There's a famous Belfast clock tower. Ah, uh, that's cool. Get a bit closer. Look at that. And in the distance, on our left, in yellow, are the Harlan and Wolf cranes that were used to build the Titanic. On our right is a Belfast institution, McHugh's. Very famous pub. Hey Y'all, we've made it to the Cathedral Quarter. And in the Cathedral Quarter is going to be a cathedral. Wow, check that out. Oh my God, look at that. All right, y'all, to show you this, I am in the lobby of the Titanic Hotel. This, some of the part of this hotel was the original uh, offices where they designed the Titanic. Check this out, this bar, look at this. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. And they have this model of the Titanic. How cool is that, y'all? So much history. Check this out, I'm waiting for my cab to come get me, so I'm rushing. Hold on a second, look at this, y'all. Wow, this is amazing. So much history, y'all. You've got to come to Belfast. Anyway, uh, we'll carry this on tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, sorry. All right, y'all, we are back in the city center. Check this out. 
This is Belfast City Hall lit up at night. Look at that. Let's see, let me see if I can get a better view. The drunks are out tonight for sure. How cool is that, y'all? Wow. All right, I'm heading back to my hotel. I will check in with y'all. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be touring or walking around. I'm gonna share some of the amazing buildings in uh, Manchester, Manchester, <laughs> in Belfast. There's, there's City Hall again. Oh. All right, guys, have a good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And we have an appointment in the Scottish Provident Institution building. Check that out, y'all. Wow. I can't wait for y'all to see. Let's, let's go on in. All right, y'all, we are heading into the Scottish Provident building. Wow, look at this, y'all. Now, I have been told that this building was built in 1902, and believe me, it looks it in the best sort of way. Check out these tile walls. Wow. Look at this staircase. Oh, I miss the chandeliers. Oh. Wow, this is one of your fancier bike sheds. Hey guys, I have a fun fact for y'all. Now check out these tiled walls. So there is tile throughout this entire floor. And that's due to the fact that when this building was built, they dealt with spice traders and the like. And in order to keep the spices and keep the building clean, they had to use tile to um, so they could be easily, easily cleaned. And you see these shiny tiles throughout. And this takes us to our destination, y'all. Nomadic Watches Belfast. It's a locally owned watch company. I bet y'all didn't know there was a watch company in Belfast. And we are in their offices. We are entering Nomadic's workshop. Check this out. Wow. And in the corner, keeping it all together, is the owner of Nomadic, Peter Welcome. McCauley. Welcome, Rob. Oh, nice to meet you, Peter. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. All right, so I think you and I are going to sit down and have a chat. Yep, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, super. All right, y'all. I'm sitting with Peter McCauley, the founder and director of Nomadic uh, Watches. So, Peter, um, uh, the name Nomadic, what, how did that come about? Yeah, so I wanted the name to be something rugged, uh, adventurous that would kind of stand on it on its own and really tell the story of what the brand is about, okay. but also have the connection to Belfast. And there's a, a famous ship that was built here called the SS Nomadic, and it was the tender ship to the RMS Titanic, which is obviously uh, extremely famous and was actually built right here in Belfast. Wow, wow. And I, I've been told that the Nomadic, the ship is still around. And it's still around, yeah. So it, it, it's, it's, it's now been, uh, it's the last remaining ship of that era. And it's now been converted into a, a fully functioning museum and put back to exactly the way it was oh, wow. during uh, sort of that, that 1912 period. Uh, and so it, it's, it's a fantastic uh, piece of history. Awesome. Well, so, so y'all, as tourists and stuff like that, definitely when you come to Belfast, you can check out the Nomadic. Um, and how did you end up starting a watch brand? Yeah, well, I was a mechanical engineer, so I always had that fascination and passion for mechanical things and watches was, was one of those. And But I, I always say that a watch doesn't really just tell the time, it tells your story. Right. I thought nobody was really telling our story here from Belfast and I, and I wanted to be able to create a piece that would really put Belfast on the watchmaking map. Start, you're doing the hard graft. Uh, yeah. you know, putting, starting from, from nothing, building this watch, this watch company. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's something, you know, they told her, they told me it, it couldn't be done. They said, you know, you can't make a, a watch brand outside of Switzerland or, or outside of England where they have that kind of history of, of watchmaking there and the, the local skills and stuff available. But I was certain that the technical skills exist right. in, in, in Belfast because of the aerospace industry, because of the shipbuilding industry. I knew the technical capabilities were here right. and uh, I had full confidence in that and it was just developing that and, and, and turning those skills to, to watchmaking. So I think we're, we're starting to, to do that and break real uh, exciting ground. You have a, a couple of watches that you can show us and yeah, kind of talk sure. about? Yeah, so our, our kind of signature piece, I'll let you get hands on sure. there. It's, uh, this is called the Mirai 401. 
which means okay. uh, seafarer in Irish. Right. And the 401 is a little reference to Titanic, which was the 401st uh, ship to be built here in Belfast. So, oh, wow. Uh, that, that's what we're sort of talking about with, with this watch and, and the yellow seconds hand on there. Right. Um, as you explore the city, you'll have, you'll have seen the massive yellow cranes uh, of Harland and Wolfe. That's the, the shipyards where they built right. uh, uh, Titanic and, and, and those uh, cranes tower over the city. So the yellow seconds hand is our nod. That. Oh, that's uh, awesome. That's awesome. In fact, I'm going to go um, sightseeing tomorrow and I'll, I'm hopefully get some pictures of it for, yeah. to share with everybody. And the most recent addition, we've updated these models um, and custom built our own unique rotor. Wow. Which goes into the back of the watch. And this is uh, designed after the propellers. On the, oh, my on the God. Look at that, y'all. That is so cool. So that's what's literally powering the watch. You know, I like to say that they're powered by adventure. So as right. you move around, that rotor is, is, is moving around with you. And that's what's winding the gears and powering the watch. And that's and awesome. To have it in a, in a sapphire display uh, case is, is something that, that is pretty special. You don't often get to, to look at the uh, inside of a, a watch and be uh, captivated. I'm, by a, it, so. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Oh, my God. And you, you have something else to show us also? Yeah. So I'll... Uh, our other model is called the Tourass 914. That's what I've been wearing myself uh, most recently. So I, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at the dial and that the texture of it really stands out. Yeah, it's got a real text, deep texture on there. It's wow. supposed to look like ice because this watch is themed around Antarctic exploration. So right. uh, the 1914 Transantarctic exploration, uh, to, to be uh, precise, and that was uh, sort of Shackleton and Tom Crean and this, this sort of band of British and Irish sailors that tried to go and cross Antarctica right. and ended up getting trapped on the ice for a period of about two years right. and they had this incredible uh, survival mission and all of the men uh, survived and that's why it's become this great story of, of leadership that was okay. almost forgotten about and overshadowed by the First World War. Right. Um, so we yeah. wanted to tell that story again and bring that through with this this watch. And this one also has that yellow seconds hand. I assume that's the second. same. Exactly. Yeah, and so I, I, my the the people that listen to me definitely know I am a sucker for a, an awesome seconds hand, and this one is, is does not disappoint. And that texture on that dial, that's super. And here we have a range of nomadic watches. Wow. That's awesome. And knowing the story of the second hand, I think that just adds to their allure. But this is my favorite, the burgundy bezel watch. I think that looks super cool. Oh yeah. And of course, the exposed case back with the propeller. That's awesome. That is the coolest thing ever. And Peter, what's the best way to, for someone to find out more about you and the company? Yeah, if you want to explore a little bit more about our watches, the best place is our website, nomadicwatches.com. I'm sure Rob's going to leave the links below if you want a to click Absolutely. So that's www.nomadicwatches.com. That's okay. it. Okay, and what about your social yep. media? You can find us on Instagram or Facebook. We're nomadic.watches. Nomadic.watches, okay. Yep. And then you can also reach out directly via email if you want to. Uh, personally to me that's info at nomadicwatches.com alright so if you want to talk to the man himself he's <laughs> you know as he becomes the watch mogul he's always happy to talk to the peasants <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part of uh, running a watch man is connecting with other enthusiasts oh, like uh, yourself you know 100% that's, 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 that's why we do this that's the best thing about the watch community yeah. everybody is so welcoming and so you know yeah. warm to and love to look at all kinds of stuff definitely yeah all right, listen, Peter, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks so much. Much appreciated. Pleasure. And uh, yeah, y'all, guys, y'all check out, check out the Nomadic Watches. You will not be disappointed. All right, y'all, that's it for me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your mini tour of Belfast. Um, definitely put Belfast on your visit list. Northern Ireland's so rich in history and so fascinating. Uh, and we've got to thank Peter at Nomadic Watches for inviting us into his watch world and sharing with us um, the story of his company. Uh, go to their website and check out these amazing watches. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And by all means, leave a comment down below about Belfast or about watches. But remember, <laughs> be merciful. I'm one small guy. And join us next time for another interesting story and another super awesome watch. All right, y'all. Be well.